Hey, this is Dr. Canario, and uh, Stephen dropped by a little bit ago. Stand by and fire. If you don't know, check out his channel. It's uh, if you're watching this channel, then you'll probably enjoy watching that channel. But uh, he lives about an hour up the road. But uh, he came by and dropped off some stuff that uh, I'll be eating next week. That's gonna probably make me die. But uh, at least you guys will get to see that. So you'll get to see a snuff film. <laughs> but uh, Anyway, in the meantime, we went up to a Habersham beverage over there by the Best Buy for anybody that's in the Savannah area and uh, picked out some beers, you know, different ones. And uh, I found one I hadn't seen before, and it's by a company I like. This is uh, RJ Rockers out of uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Really, uh, really like these guys. They got one called Bell Ringer. And. Uh, I did a review on that, I don't know, maybe two months back or so. But they had a four-pack finally. Everything's been a, everything's usually in six-pack by them. I thought that was their uh, singular high-gravity offering, but uh, they got one called Black Pearl. It's a uh, comes in a four-pack. It's a, a dark IPA, a black IPA, if you will, um, which you don't come across. There's some, but you don't come across too many anyway. If you can, uh, if you see some RJ Rockers out there, check them out. It's they're a good brewery. So, but we're gonna go ahead and give this one a go. You don't see too many IPAs that look like this. Nice, nice. Ah, sweet. Smells like uh, somebody's baking muffins, you know, breakfast muffins, you know. Not any one distinct, you know, but smells like that. Real cereally. I mean, there's almost no hoppy notes to it. Just smells like a bakery when you walk into a bakery. Something smells good, but you can't identify it. That, that. So. Oh, yeah. Dark tones, almost like an imperial stout. Almost like Brooklyn Black, but with less coffee and more. Just, just beyond the bitterness of coffee, just kind of that at the end, and a little cleaner than, little cleaner finish than uh, Brooklyn Black, but it's not, it's not an imperial stout. It's an Imperial IPA, which is, and a dark one at that, which is odd. So, I'll go ahead and read what they got on here. Black Pearl, a dark roasted twist on a traditional IPA. This octo, -hop, octo hopped, which I guess that's eight hop sessions from what I'm, and you're not really, you don't really pick them up very much. But anyway, where was I at? Octo Hot Beer picks up picks a punch of eight malts, big balanced. It walks with the line between a black IPA and an imperial stout. Okay, well that makes sense. Surprising hints of sweetness, followed by a smooth, complex finish. Make it a hidden treasure. 9.0%. Yeah, 9% ABV. But anyway, that's RJ Rocker's... Uh, got it probably less than an hour ago, so... Uh, I know I gave a lot of nines, but I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta go nine. This is, creatively, this is, there are eight hops in this, and you wouldn't even, a regular IPA with eight hops would feel like somebody took a Christmas tree and just sh shoved it down your throat, and I don't think anybody likes that. This is not, this dark tone, you almost don't even get the hops. Maybe at the end, but excellent. Nine out of ten. <laughs> that's that's really good, really surprising. Anyway, I got some stuff from uh, Stephen today. Stand by and fire. The chocolate boogle man, and he indeed did drop off some of those. So I'm screwed because I've got to eat those next week. Uh, probably. 
probably a week from today, uh, the Chocolate Bula video will be going down and being posted. So, I also dropped off a 7B, 7P. Uh, those things look gnarly and scary too, so. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Uh, this is Black Pearl from uh, RJ Rockers, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Give it a go.